Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, and in the last video you guys seen, we got the entire drive line put back in this truck. Now the next thing we need to do is just the small stuff. We've got some of the coolant lines that have to go to our intake. We got to modify the exhaust because now we're running headers instead of a manifold. So it's going to be it's going to need a little bit of a modification. So I'll show you what we're working with. We have got fittings already installed here and we got them installed in the intake so now all we have to do is just run the line I was originally thinking about running this one which is behind the fan here and I was thinking about trying to fit it in between the water pump and the pulley through here and then bringing it in but it's going to be a really tight bend and I don't know if we're going to be able to accomplish that so both of these lines might just have to come up and around the thermostat housing and then come back down and into our two fittings. We're going to have to play around with it obviously and see what's going to work best but I think that's going to be the best way to do it since we are using a 3 8 stainless steel line. It's kind of a harder material harder to bend so we might not be able to manipulate it behind the water pump pulley we'll have to see I don't think it's gonna happen I think we're just gonna end up shooting around the thermostat but that's what we're here for we're here to find out so we're gonna go ahead and get to work okay so I've already got a flare on the end of this I don't have the nut on it yet I think we're gonna start with the top fitting at the actual thermostat housing. We've got to run a 90 on it. So I'm just trying to mark kind of where I want my bend to start. And we're gonna to have to see how that how that works. I have this right here, this little harbor freight two bender. It's, it goes up to three eighths, but We'll have to see whether or not it'll bend this stainless steel. Just like that. The stainless is kind of a pain, like I said, I knew it was gonna be, but it could be worse. So we got roughly a 90 degree bend on here. Once I get it out, I'll show you. So we've got a 90 degree bend on here. It's kind of out of focus, but there's no kinks or anything in it so far. So this is our flaring tool that we're going to be using. So what we're going to do, try and set this up so you can see. First, make sure you put your nut or fitting on. So once you're done flaring it, you will not be able to reinstall that. So need to do it now. Don't forget. We're gonna put our line in. I'm just gonna get it set up real quick and then I'll show you. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna demonstrate how I'm flaring this. We've got our line, our nuts on, it's up towards the top. We've got our line 
in here. This little plunger tightens these dies down together. And our line is right in here about flush with the end of the dies. And this plunger, you can screw in by hand until you're pretty much touching it. And you turn this dial and then you can pump it by hand right here. And that's gonna push this plunger into the line and form the line around the two dies. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Spin that out. Loosen our handle to release the dies. Then when you pull the two dies off, it's flared. So now our nut will come down, seal up into that. All right, so we went ahead and threw on the hard line we just bent. This one's coming from the thermostat housing, coming around and going to the back of the intake. Doesn't look too bad. So the next one we're gonna do is coming out of the water pump that's gonna be the supply. And I've got it angled a little bit towards the valve cover because I wanna bring it up and then do my 90 right next to this line, right behind it. And then we'll follow the back side and go down. And then down here, where this line kind of tapers up so it can shoot over top of this fitting, we're gonna wanna follow like a 90 degree, keep it straight, which will put us underneath here and give us a straight shot to the front fitting. So we're gonna go ahead and start bending that line now. All right guys, so my camera battery ended up dying on me. I really need to do a better job of charging this before I come out and not just thinking it's ready to go. But you guys see me do the first line and then the camera died. So then I just pretty much repeated the process for the second one and it's done. So I'm gonna show it to you real quick. This is the finished product. Our feed coming out of the water pump and then this is our return coming back into the thermostat housing. Coming over and into our intake. Now I do wish that these bends weren't so high and that they were a little bit lower and kind of sat more so on top of this part of the thermostat housing. But this is the first time I used this bender and they came out a little high. I mean, I can still get my hose and everything on my thermostat and it really doesn't look that bad considering that they are hard lines it's going to be a lot better than this this is the alternative which is using heater hose line which would have had to loop all the way around and it's just big and bulky and wouldn't have looked good so i think this is a good alternative even though that part doesn't look the best, in my opinion, but I mean, it's gonna function just fine. Everything's easy to get to. So the next big thing we need to tackle is exhaust. So I'm gonna get this up in the air and we're gonna show you what we're dealing with because these headers come down a lot further than the factory manifold. So we are gonna have to do some modifications to our current setup and we're also gonna to have to step from a two and a quarter down to two inch. So I'm gonna show you that process right now. So we got the truck up on the lift. And these are where our exhaust pipes are gonna come down. You can see if I hold this flange up, we have got plenty of clearance all the way around the block to do what we need to do. Problem is this one. You can see we're slightly gonna hit the block right there before we can actually tighten this up so we are gonna have to notch one of these which will be pretty simple to do all I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna entirely cut it in half but I'm gonna cut most of the way through 
in a straight line and then we're going to cut another line angled up like this i'll draw it out with a marker here in a minute and then when we bend it we can weld it and that'll give us like a nice 45 degree bend in this small piece of pipe which will angle us away from the block just enough to where we'll have clearance so i went ahead and marked our exhaust piece and kind of see what we're trying to accomplish here so if you look We've got a straight line marked all the way around this tubing. This is just a rough drawing. And that's a straight line all the way around. So if you look at it from the side, we're going to cut this angled piece straight down at an angle, but not all the way through the pipe. We're going to go like three quarters of the way through the pipe. And we're going to, when we do that, we can bend this pipe and fill in this gap we just cut and when we bend that over all we're going to have to do is just do a butt weld right here to the two pieces when they get joined and then when we fill that gap in it's going to bend this pipe ever so slightly which is going to give us the room away from the block that we need to get our exhaust clearance and then after that we're going to hang our existing exhaust where it shoots out the side of the truck and then we just got to connect the two pieces and that's pretty much it so i'm going to probably do this part and then we'll get the flanges mounted to the headers and kind of see where we need to go whether we got to do you know just like a 90 and be done or whether we're going to have to make some pie cuts because i have some two inch stainless tubing in the garage that was left over when i did the exhaust originally and we can cut some pie cuts out of that. That way we can move around if we need to. We might get lucky and just throw some 290s on there and it might be it. But we won't know until we see. And the first step we have to do is get this cut and welded. So that way we can put it up on the headers and see where we need to go. So we got our piece here, it's all welded out, ground down, got the bend. So it looks okay. It's not the best, but only having a MIG welder, a small 110 MIG welder, you gotta, you know, gotta use what you have. I don't have a TIG welder or anything, so we can't make it look that nice, but it will function. So the next thing we're gonna do is mount both of these on the headers tighten everything up with the gasket that way we can see where we need to go we'll hang the old exhaust about where we want it and then we can see where we need to go from the headers to the existing exhaust so that's our next step i'm going to go ahead and hang these on the headers real quick and we'll see where we're at all right guys so we got the uh, exhaust flanges that we were just working on in one of them we didn't even have to modify at all the other one we did. I got them bolted to the headers and tight. You are going to want these tight. You don't want anything moving around when you're trying to build the rest of the exhaust because then you could run into issues because a couple inches up here or an inch up here might mean a lot in the back end. So this is what it looks like. Bolted up, ready to go. And you can see on this one here why we had to put that slight bend in it otherwise we would have been rubbing up against the block but we're good now we've got clearance everything's tight by the way and good to go that's what it looks like up here so now the next step for us to do 
is to hang our stock exhaust on. First, we got to cut off the uh, collector flanges to those and just hang them up underneath the truck and get an idea of what we're working with. I'll show it to you. This is the exhaust system. So we just got to cut off the flanges and pull this heat wrap off and we're just going to have to go from there. I got a couple of two inch pieces over here and we could uh, use those if we need to or make some pie cuts into them to help us with this but we definitely got the material to use that way we don't have to buy anything which is great <laughs> so we're pretty much there like I said now we just got to hang this exhaust and go from there and just connect A to B that's all there is to it all right so we got our exhaust all finished up as you can see we're coming down here we had to make these pieces which connect into our previous exhaust I'm gonna have to tweak it a little bit back here because you can see the pipes are in the hole right they're just hanging a little too far so I'm gonna have to come down here and probably cut these pipes that way I can rotate this 90 and everything and that'll bring the exhaust up out a little higher but it's done everything's connected all right guys that's gonna do it for this video I hope you liked it make sure you stay tuned for the next one because we are gonna be starting this truck up we got a little bit of stuff left to do which is just a little bit of wiring and we still have to paint the inner fenders and get that front clip and everything put back on but that's about it so if you like the video please like comment subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for the next video because the next one we're going to be starting this thing up and we might even take it for a test drive so stay tuned thanks guys mm -hmm.